I did not think about the fact that I am an e -cuck. I think it looks damn good. Let me say that. If I ever left this house wearing it and I'm not going to the beach, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Teddy Kadimba. You know the vibes already. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. As you can tell, today is another she in try on haul. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> I'm so happy to be doing this actually because you guys really ate up the last one that I did so I'm trying to make sure that I keep bringing you more hauls because you guys like that um, also shout out to the sponsors of this video we appreciate you we appreciate you okay so uh, without further ado let's actually just get into it remember to comment like and subscribe and yeah let me give you the tea <laughs> Okay, so first of all, honey, let us talk about this order, okay? <laughs> because uh, this was probably like really annoying because the first time I did the haul, I'm gonna link that video here, right? It took me how many days? It took eight days for my order to arrive and I didn't pay customs. This time, girl, let me open up this app and tell you how long it took. And so I made the order on the 18th of June. It only got delivered to my doorstep on the 24th of July. Okay, so this took a while. And the reason that I got when I called Aramix, they said it was because um, we had gone into level four, so customs was taking longer to clear up things. So my package did get in, get to South Africa within five days, right? However, it was sitting at customs for like three weeks, basically. So obviously now we're back to level three, so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, but for me personally, I had to wait, like my package was at OR Temple for three weeks, so yeah. And then I did have to pay customs this time. So the total for my order was, was 2,397 Rand. And then for customs, I had to pay 477 Rand and 95 cents. So yeah, I mean, it wasn't a lot of customs to pay, but then I did have to pay customs. So yeah, I guess that's about it when it comes to logistics. So all I can say is, if you are getting something right now it could take a month yeah anyway let us get into it so first let's start with accessories my favorite thing okay let's talk about these glasses honey <laughs> i call these the nella rose glasses okay these are the glasses that nella is always wearing besides you know her other ones but like yeah it's giving 90s it's giving baddie it's giving you can't talk to me anyhow so yeah these are the glasses that i got love them love them love them so yeah as usual i'm gonna leave everything linked down below but i really love those the next thing that we got are these earrings okay so this is how big they actually oh this lighting girl this lighting i don't know how we're gonna do this but basically, so they're actually like pretty big, as you can see. Um, really like them. The only thing that I don't like is like they feel very cheap. I mean, they're probably like 15 Rand or 16 Rand. So I mean, what can I expect for a dollar? But like, it's like clanging metal, which is not nice. And it's different from the vibe. Like I usually get my earrings from Lovisa. Like these are from Lovisa, for example, but they don't feel like clanging metal and they don't sound like that so i don't know this was definitely unusual for me i expect okay you know what, let me not say i expected better because i mean i got what i paid for but i mean in terms of the style and everything they're sufficiently dramatic they are big you know it's a nice shade of gold obviously i don't know how long you know these are still going to be looking good so hopefully a long time i'll probably like update you in a vlog later on but yeah love these so next we also got some bracelets as you can see i haven't had a chance to open these yet 
and I got a few rings. I just wanted like basic rings because every time I go to like Lovisa or something to get rings, it's always just like so much drama. I just wanted like plain rings to help me with the layering of my rings. So yeah, um, let me actually just open these bracelets so you can see. Okay, this is like standard bracelet quality. It's not like anything fancy. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see that? I literally just slid it on um, and I can adjust it as you can see so that's good. I like that. I'm glad to see that these are actually going to fit me really nicely. So yeah, I love that for myself. Okay, so jewelry wise, the combos are communicating. So the next thing I got is a pair of shoes okay so this is my first pair of shoes from Shein um, it's the mule okay so these mules I don't know like have been a thing for like what the past like year two years and I remember like the Gucci ones I remember Cynthia Guebu posting about the Gucci ones and she got them and how much she loved them and I never really like tried getting these shoes because I like have a big foot so I'm really conscious about shoes that I wear because I feel like oh my gosh it's gonna look long but um, this is what it looks like I feel like it's not too bad and they actually fit really nicely when I first got them though like I tried them on and like I felt like oh my gosh like my like foot was kind of like it wasn't a lot it was like a little bit but then i realized it's because the shoe is tapered at the front so the more i wore these the more like my um i guess it stretched enough for me to like fit so for example this morning when i was doing the try on section of all of this that's when i had these on and um yeah now they actually fit pretty nicely so i'm really happy with this purchase and they actually look nice too they went with i think all the outfits that i showed you guys in that video which was really nice as well so yeah love the mules and the quality is actually like pretty good um i really feel like i'm actually gonna have this shoe for a minute it's not gonna be like uh, I wore it three times and then it broke type of situation, I feel. But obviously, I'll keep you posted. But yeah, love these shoes. The next thing we got was boot tape. <laughs> so I tried to put this on this morning when I was trying on the other clothes. And um, I don't know, like it stuck onto me, right? But then it didn't like stay on for as long as I thought. So I don't know if it's because like, I don't know, like maybe the tape was overwhelmed or the tape is not good. So I don't know. I actually need to give this a proper test run, but like for now, it definitely like holds it up. For me, it's just the longevity. Like I'd want to be comfortable like going out wearing like even like a top, like this top, for example, needs boot tape, right? So for example, I have been like this since I started filming at what 10:30, right? So for me, I need to, to ha be able to get up until I finish like edit like filming this video. So I don't know, but yeah, that was my experience. So the next thing that we have is actually this hoodie. I don't know why I actually forgot to include it in my try on section um we'll see if i get a chance to try it on for you guys but basically this is what the hoodie looks like it's just like a really simple black hoodie um that i got because <laughs> when i made this order pe was called af so i was just like you know what? there's no harm in me adding another hoodie to my collection and yeah i was really happy with the size actually i wouldn't mind sizing it up one more but it's sufficiently baggy for me and you guys know like i have a bit of a bust happening here like it doesn't look tight in my bust area so i really like that for myself so now I'm gonna move over to the side so that I can show you me trying on the other stuff. Okay, so first let us talk about this sweater. Okay, so it's the plus solid shoulder solid sweater. Okay, I'm gonna post a screenshot so you guys to see what I thought this was gonna look like, right? So in the photo, it's got this like gray like situation, right? So it looks like a charcoal black but then when it came it was black black so as you can see this is the charcoal black from the screenshot 
on Shein's website and then I'm gonna show you the black black it's really like black black so I definitely wasn't expecting it I was also expecting it to like have a more oversized sort of look because I was going for an oversized look um, and based on the measurements I really thought it was gonna be like really like oversized but I guess you know given my bust and my size I guess if you are plus size don't expect for it to look like what it looks like in the photo because you're gonna be disappointed however as you can see from this it still looks super stylish so it's not like a train wreck and it's not the end of the world so yeah I actually really like how this outfit looks so you know 10 out of 10 I'm not mad at it um, at first when I saw it I was really upset but then when I styled it I realized that uh, okay it's a bit of me <laughs> we can make it work <laughs> okay so the next thing that we have here is this plus halter a uh, neck rib knit bodysuit again when I saw this I was like my tongue it looks very not like very different from the photo but I guess from the photo you can't really see the rib knit so when you then see it it's a little bit like what's happening but also for this one I definitely could have sized down one or even two so right now like as you can see like it looks fine I look stylish everything like combos are still communicating however I think I would have just preferred it to be slightly tighter especially because this is not the type of top that you can wear with like a bra so I think that if it was like one size down it would have definitely given me more support without me having to like add my own support but as you can see it actually looks good so I'm not mad at it and the great thing about this is you can style it like in a lot of different ways as you can see I styled it with the skirt and she looks good honey so yeah actually really like it and even the material is like sufficiently thick as well um so I'm not mad at that at all okay so next let's talk about these PU leather solid leggings okay first of all even though they're highway okay maybe my fupa is the problem right right maybe they are high waist but it's not the kind of high waist that i like like think high waist leggings like normal leggings that aren't pu leather and how like how much more like flexible they are and they really like make it like above your belly button or like to your belly no above your belly button that is my kind of high waist that may be a little hectic but that's what I like because I feel like because I have a fupa it looks nicer when my high waist is really high waisting and these don't really give me that which is unfortunate however it still does give sufficient high waist so it does look good and my fupa actually doesn't look so bad in it so I'm actually happy with how this came out and of course um, yeah the only thing is of course I need to figure out how to style PU leather leggings and I wish that the, the bottom of the leggings was more tapered as you can see in this video like it's not tapered like it's kind of like it's not like if you think of like leggings or like skinny jeans like the whole like it really just like is hugging your ankle to the bottom that's what i would have liked but it's not what i got so i don't know like i said i'm not mad at it it's just not it's not giving what i thought it would give however you can make it work if you style it the right way so i don't know i'm not too mad at it okay so the next thing that we have is this blouse honey okay so when i looked at the measurements is um according to like the bust and like my bust measurements whatever it should have been enough like to have like room because this is actually supposed to be an oversized blouse right but as you can see ain't nothing oversized about it <laughs> so yeah that is unfortunate but as you can see you know a girl was still able to style it so i think the thing about this blouse right is like i styled it two ways so i'm gonna show you both ways i styled it with the skirt and then i styled it with the i think the pu leather pants or jeans and I, I don't know you guys are gonna see the pant outfit here so both ways that I styled it it still looks really good right it's still it's still looking really nice it's still giving drip the only thing is I wanted an oversized blouse so I don't know girl I am definitely going to do another haul where I try another blouse with higher dimensions because clearly I need to size up at least maybe two more sizes to get the right um, sort of um, oversized look that I'm going for but I'm actually like not mad at it it looks really good I will say however that the quality that the photo looks like versus the quality that this top really is I feel is like different because it looks really luxurious in this photo whereas 
it doesn't really feel luxurious to me you know so that was definitely a little disappointing for me next we have these leggings guys these leggings were a big disappointment because again it's they weren't giving what they were supposed to give first of all right the bottom of these leggings is giving like it's like a frill why are they frilled why are, why are these leggings frilled what is happening here you get me like that really disappointed me i think the biggest thing is that they're frilled they're not tapered and then they actually ended up being like not too big right like i can wear them very very comfortably but then i feel like if it was even just like a size down it would have had the right amount of like hold and i think yeah that's the thing maybe like it would have just been a I don't know everything would have just been held in like held together better so i don't know i like my leggings to be i don't know what the word would be for this but just like it fits like the perfect fit it's not slightly big it's not like slightly small it's the perfect fit that's how all my leggings usually are so this was definitely unexpected i definitely never expected this one but it is what it is okay <laughs> it is what it is but i will say though that because of the way the material is set up i think this is the perfect um type of legging that i can wear with the top you're about to see next right um because at least it comes up high enough for me to be able to wear like a really crop top crop top so i guess there's a card there's a pro in that yeah so this next top guys like this is the plus all over print tie backless halter top so i'm gonna put a screenshot of this girl right when i saw it on her i thought wow this looks really nice wow 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 however i did not think about the fact that I am an e-cup so me and my e-cup self we have no business wearing a top I don't know you know and I'm gonna put the video now this is how this uh, this top looks on me honestly I think it looks damn good however I don't think I'd ever leave my house looking like this this is it's it, it's not secure all it all the t that it takes to happen is like the top breaking somewhere or coming undone for me to be undone so mm, this top is definitely getting the side eye from from me currently um but what i will say is that maybe i could like turn it into like a bikini top like i, I can wear it to like the beach I think that's what we're gonna do but however if you all see me styling it another way like this the way i styled it here it actually looks really really good i feel like with the with the right like pair of high waist jeans a nice pair of sneakers or meals or sandals with like long hair like this i don't know guys i don't know but personally i don't know i'm on i'm on the fence about it let me say that if i ever left this house wearing it and i'm not going to the beach <laughs> that is all that i have to say on that but yeah i really like honestly i like it but i definitely think that it's like it's it's showing more that i'm than i'm comfortable showing like i'm very much like okay with like crop tops and this and that like i don't care right you guys know this you've seen me a million times however i feel like this is like a little more than i'm okay with so we'll see where life takes us however when this top is styled as you can see it looks good it's giving the right amount of grip okay so the next top that we have is the plus ruffle bell sleeve tight crop top okay love this honestly this is a really really nice top but i wish i had gone maybe one size up because if i had gone one size up i feel like it would have been less you know it would have been less on my um black like boob area i feel like when i put this top on it's really just like gripping my boobs only and then like the rest of the top that's a that's supposed to come down like this doesn't really get to come down like that so the way things are set up right now are not really pleasing me however um i feel like if i do have boob tape on the boob tape will give me sufficient um what can i say security to be able to wear this top without feeling like too much is happening but then i do like it i feel like it is super stylish again if you wear it with the right things paired with the right things it will look stunning and i mean can we just talk about that bell sleeve like 
is the drama for me guys <laughs> and also the color the pink it's really giving like girly vibes that i really like i think this is actually going to be um a nice top for the spring so i'm definitely excited to see how i'm gonna style this um yeah Okay, so the next thing we got is this turtleneck fitted tee. This was also a little disappointing when I put it on the first time because, like, again, my turtlenecks, I like them to be a perfect fit, whereas this is slightly big. Like, it's a, it's one size too big, which I mean, it's a, rather that than too small, right? However, yeah, I like a more fitted look when it comes to certain things and I feel like even though this looks really good um, It's just not giving the fitted look that I personally prefer However, as you can see a girl is looking good. So a girl is keeping it a girl is gonna style it in many different ways And I mean it's a basic everyone needs a fitted a mock neck fitted tee in their uh, closets so you know it is what it is but I do love that this is going to be something that I can style in a lot of different ways I'm actually gonna do a styling video for you guys soon this definitely should have come at the beginning of winter but we're here now we're still in winter so you can still wear your fits so don't worry but yeah I'm definitely gonna do that for you Okay, so the last item, I've saved the best for last, right? Um, is this plus one shoulder cut out tie side bodycon dress. I don't know who names these things at Shein, guys, but yay, it's always a mouthful. But anyway, this dress, right? Let me put a screenshot. This is what I thought I was getting. And as you can see, it looks like a nice sort of thing going right it looks really nice the material looks amazing it looks luxurious however please tell me why it's actually like thin t-shirt material like the material is just like was just very disappointing to me because it's like clearly the like this is like a dress you'd wear like on a night out right drinks with the girls or whatever i don't know life before covid vibes those kind of things right Whereas, so yeah, you'd think that the material would also be something that's like nighttime friendly, not t-shirt cotton material. It's really thin, it's really giving t-shirt cotton, like, am I gonna wear it? Absolutely. I bought it, I paid for it, so I'm gonna get the most I can out of it. However, I would have preferred for it to be like firmer. I'm even thinking of like looking into what starching an item entails because if I can get this to be firmer, I think it could be like a better situation for me. I was also concerned about how my fupa would look in this and I wore this without any shapewear because I really wanted you guys to see the reality of what this thing looks like <laughs> so yeah but um i'm not mad at how it looks i definitely feel like with shapewear i could definitely make this like a banging sort of outfit um but again the whole like cut out situation in the middle i feel like i'd really have to like wear i feel like i'd probably wear like a you know those like boob tube bra situations like that's actually like a tube i feel like i'd wear that because i feel like it's very easy to have like a nip slip when you're wearing this like all you have to do is raise your hand and nip slip <laughs> so yeah i definitely like it though like it's really like giving i don't know like you know the vibe that is there these days where it's like you look you're like i'm not naked at all but like i'm sufficiently dressed to be looking stylish you know there's a little bit of skin showing just to, mm, you know so yeah i don't know like mm, you know that that little bit of skin is just giving just giving some spice and i like that so yeah honestly really really love that about this and then of course i did get some bras and undies unfortunately i did like size them wrong the bras are uh, i guess i can't can i say basically the bra cup size is small because i thought i was still a d but i'm not a d anymore so i definitely have to size up in terms of my cup size otherwise the fit around my um my body i don't know that was a decent fit so yeah i will still leave a link down below to the bras because it was like a set of two for 150 which i think is really good because buying one bra that i fit in this country 
a, a place like Woolworths, for example, is like 350 Rand going up. So I thought it was a really good deal. So I would definitely, I'm definitely going to get more bras in the next haul. Hopefully those ones fit. Um, yeah. And then I got undies that were so big, guys. They're so big. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So unfortunately, that was an L2. However, we tried. So yeah, that is it for my haul. I hope you guys liked all the items that I had to show you. I hope you guys also purchased some of the things. As usual, there are links down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Comment down below. Let me know which ones you like, which ones you don't like. What you think, how you feel. Have you tried it? Will you try Shein? And yeah, thank you for joining me. I'll catch you in the next one. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe.